What's the deal, my people? You know what it is, Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you, another one. And this one is Out of Range, episode seven and eight, the penultimate finale episode. They answered a lot of questions, and we're going to go over all the questions that were answered and a few that still remain. And there was a person who had a certain theory that I think was proven true. What up to my thugs, nerds, freaks, and geeks? You're now rocking with the best, the Don Tony Teflon. If you can, please subscribe and click that bell so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. As always, 500 is the like gold. Let's get this video to 500 likes. When you have a finale, you hope that they answer all the questions that were put forward during the season. You hope that it's satisfying enough that not only do they answer these questions, but they also leave you wanting more. Did this do that for you? In my opinion, it did. It answered all the major questions that they were talking about this year, and we're going to go over all of them. Right off the bat, let's go through them. I came up with a theory all the way back in episode one, and I told you that Amy was Odom. In fact, I did two videos on it and I gave you proof each video that that was the case. And in this video, lo and behold, the Don Tony Teflon gets the hit again. Wax it out of the park, as always, gets it right. So it's proven that Amy is Autumn and we also see exactly how she got her name Autumn because we see that her mother isn't dead and this is the reason why she knew her mother wasn't dead because we see her get picked up by her mother while the bull riding contest goes by and the mother tells her I can't tell you why I have to hide but we have to hide so we can see that it's the mother who took her and is hiding her and changed her name for her own protection that's who she's talking to on the phone every time we see her talking on the phone when she's trying to get her medication now it's still unexplained how these two people are in the same time period at the same time when she's growing up and a child so i do believe it does have something to do with the whole itself somehow she's going to have to find her way into this hole that's what i think but I'm glad that they cleared that up. I'm very glad about that. Also, we see how the Abbots are going to lose their ranch because their stupid son had to go and jump his ass into the hole. That's going to cause them to default on the Bales bonds that they put up for this dude. And that is eventually how they lose their ranch as we seen later on in the flash forward from Royal. Also, it showed us exactly that Autumn, Amy, whoever you want to call her, we can go on that, is not out to hurt them. She was really out there trying to save the ranch and keep it in their family name because she is family. So when she's out there trying to get the money to buy the ranch as soon as it defaults, we know that she's doing this to keep it in name. Now, she could also be up to some craziness with the rocks underneath it. But still, if she buys it, it stays in the family name. So she's not the bad person in this situation that she was put out to be. It also dealt with her and Billy. As I said before, during she was young, we seen that she liked Billy singing at the funeral. And then we seen them have this love affair. Now, the kissing is a little crazy, right? I, I mean, I, why do they always have so spit between them, between their lips? I, I don't want to see that. The kissing is a little crazy. But we see that he goes to bath for her. And he gets this way after he eats some of the rock, right? He digests this rock. And that's what made him a little bit crazy so we do know that this rock is kind of edible not that you should be eating it i don't think it's a food source or anything like that but i think once it interacts with your body somehow and you digest it or somehow it gets into your bloodstream that it turns you into some type of crazy type person you know and we see that it's kind of like like a goo like a venom symbiote if you're if if you're into marvel comics because we also get the answer about royal 
he gives his whole backstory. And he says that when he was out there hunting with his father, we see that accidentally, instead of shooting at a deer, he shoots and kills his father. And when he goes back home, he doesn't want to face his family. That's when he runs away. The hole opens up and he decides to jump into this hole. And we see him climb out of the hole. We can see the goo is on him. And as he climbs out of the hole, it kind of disappears. So it's not a dirt. It's more like some type of symbiote that's on top of his skin. And this is when he sees Wayne for the first time. And it's at this time he stumbles upon the Abbott's ranch and the Abbott's take him in. Now he says that he jumped in the hole at 1886 and when he came out it was 1968. So when he came out it was 82 years into the future which is by far the longest time period that we've seen affect anyone who came out of this hole because we've seen in the one flash forward that it was only a couple of years after he had already died, right? So this is a significant time jump. We also get answers with the sheriff and the mastodons because we see her go out in the field after she has dinner with her family. She goes out, investigates. Now, it's either a crack in the ground, which it looks like, or it could just be drippings of this stuff that looks like a crack. The special effects in the show aren't the greatest, and I don't blame that for the people. They probably had a lower budget. This aren't the greatest, but you see when she goes off, and she doesn't fall in no hole or anything. She just walks off into this past, and then she's transported somewhere back into time. We don't know the exact time. It could be 1886, but we're not sure, and that's where her story ends up. We also get answers to Billy and Luke. Billy giving Luke up all the property and I knew once that happened that he was going to die and he did but I knew that was going to happen but Luke getting obsessed you can see it in his eyes from this hole and starts digging these holes and eventually this is where all the cattle comes from that goo pops up and then all the cattle comes out of that hole and affects everyone we also get the answer between royal's wife and the bear the mother bear comes for her she pulls out the gun i thought she was gonna hide in the car but nope this chick went and got her gun shot this bear dead and i think it's a metaphor that that's what's happening to her family the mother bear dying trying to protect its cubs could be something that is going to happen to her and what happens to her because she loses all of her property due to the fact of her trying to protect her cubs and at the end she says her whole family is gone because of everything that happened so i think that was the metaphor with her and the bear all season we see the Rhett maria situation come full circle and they finally get together at the end i do believe i've touched on all the major points of this show and as i said when you deal with a finale you want them to answer all the major points for you and i do believe that they answered everything that they set up this season which makes it a really good finale for me there's also a lot of more stuff we're going to talk about you know going forward i'll be doing videos about what to expect the next season so again make sure you're subscribed and click that bell so you can be notified every time i drop a new video overall i'm gonna give this first season an eight out of ten i think they did a good job and they only didn't like two episodes every other episode i liked and i liked the way they wrap things up also thought they did a great job with that and listen does it hurt that i'm right <laughs> no it don't hurt at all baby <laughs> it don't hurt at all i ain't gonna lie about that but yeah you put it in the comment section anything that i might have left out or that you want to touch on and we will touch on it in the comment section also i'll be doing a live stream about this whole season wrapping it up with my boy bridge for and my boy phil the issues guy so if you like the way i do this please spread this across the realm and subscribe and until next time you know who it is peace and stay sexy